Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing a Jolty makeup tutorial. So I have a lot of teammates in my Jol team that are asking for a tutorial and how to do your makeup. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. So a tip that I have for you guys is starting off with your eyeshadow first because we are working with a lot of eyeshadow, especially black. So if you start off with your face makeup, then the eyeshadow is going to fall onto your concealer and then you have to like take it off and it's just going to look really bad. So first thing is concealing your eyelids um, either with a primer or with a concealer. So I'm going to go in with this one from Wet n Well. Um, I like it a little bit lighter, so I'm going to go in with light ivory. If you apply concealer for your, your primer, it's not only going to just prime your lids, but it's also going to cover any veins or redness on your eyes, so that's a plus. And I'm just blending it out with the sponge, um, just any sponge or even a brush will do. So the main thing that we do on Drill Team is smoky eye, blush, and red lipstick. So I recommend investing in a good eyeshadow palette. So the ones that I recommend and the ones that I use is the semi-sweet chocolate bar palette from Too Faced. I know you can purchase this at Sephora for $49, but if you're lucky, you can go to your local TJ Maxx and find it for $25. So I guess that's a good bargain. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Pudding and I recommend tapping off the excess, applying it on the crease as my transition. So the reason why I say invest in a good eyeshadow palette, um, I'm not saying, you know, go to Chanel and get like a $50 palette for like two eyeshadows. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying get a palette that's convenient to use. Um, like th this palette has a lot of neutrals and then you can use this like for an everyday um, look. But I'm saying like, invest in a palette that's good for the quality that has the shades to do a smoky eye so the reason why we do a smoky eye is because we want to look extra so the reason why we do dark colors is because we're performing at night so it's ideal to do a harsh dramatic look so people can like see us you know and that's the same thing for blush you can't just, you know, apply a little bit and then expect people to, like, see you. Like, no, you're performing and then, like, a lot of lights will just wash you out. So, if you have a lot of color, then it'll just be, like, you're living. You know what I mean? It's, it's, yeah. I also recommend, um, taking your time on the eyeshadow if you're at home. If you're, you know, if you decide to do your makeup at school, then whatever, you can rush or whatever. But another tip that I have for you guys is doing your makeup in the morning and I know it's going to be a lot for your people but it saves, it saves you a lot of time and effort because like once you're, you're at school you know you're done with the pep rallies and you're just ready to go and get dressed and then get into the bus or you know and perform so you don't really have time to do your makeup like a full face makeup you know so you're in a rush next i'm gonna go in with the black now i know it's gonna look a little harsh but that's what we need so like i was saying like it's very time consuming so i recommend doing your makeup the day in the morning so you can do other things like your hair or eating so because you do need to eat and if you're just you know just so concentrated on your makeup you're just gonna forget to eat and that's not good so so I've been on drill team for two years now and yeah so with the black I'm just doing like a little I don't know I'm just applying it on the outer part of the lid and right now I'm just packing on the black and then blending it out with a brush Okay, so now I'm going to go in, in with a silver color. So, um, before people would just apply the silver color without concealer or like cut the crease. So, for today, that's what I'm going to be doing. So, 
So how I cut the crease is I just really follow my natural crease of my eyelid. The silver that I'm gonna be applying is this color from the Too Faced Christmas in New York palette, I think 2016 palette. Um, I'm gonna go in the sh with the shade Sugar Bells. So this is the only silver color that I have that I have that's kind of pigmented, kind of pigmented. So I'm gonna apply it with this brush from Anastasia. So I recommend spraying your brush with water. So you know, having the eyeshadow packed on with the brush and then spraying it with water and then applying it right on top of the concealer patting motions not swiping motions basically it's for the eyeshadow So now moving on to the face, I'm going to do my concealer, foundation, and powder, and then I'm going to show you how to blush your face. I look like a lion right now. So um, for blush, the two things that I recommend is this one from Wet n Wild, it's like $3, or the e.l.f. blush palette the e.l.f. blush palette. So it comes with really nice blushes. So I'm going to go in with, I think this one. The more, the better. So. Don't be afraid. I don't know if you can notice, but you know, you know, alive, wash out and dead. You know what I mean? So blush is a good thing. So as you can see, you can see the blush now. No, you might think, oh, that's enough. No, you have to apply it. So today I'm not going to go too harsh because we're not really actually going on performing. Um, and if you think you apply too much, just get a regular powder brush um and just blending it away a little but like i said today we're not performing or you know we're just literally just taking pictures so i'm gonna go a little easy on the blush okay so i applied my lashes you can either if you have if you're lucky if you're one of those lucky ones you can just do mascara and call it a day but for me i have zero lashes so i need dramatic lashes so that's what i did and i forgot to mention you also need eyeliner i'm not saying you know do the whole wing no i'm just saying like the the waterline yeah get a liner so this one's like two dollars at ulta it's the essence long lasting eye pencil and yeah so again the more dramatic route the better but since today we're just taking pictures i'm just going to apply black eyeshadow and call it a day so and um, apply mascara down there I can't apply mascara without making like any like facials I have to make facials okay lipstick so I recommend getting your liquid lipstick um, I know Maybelline has a good one it's like around $10 or something but yeah, and then I recommend getting a cool tone. The reason why I said cool tone because it kind of counteracts the yellow on your teeth. I'm just going to show you. So this is a cool tone version. This is a Milani lipstick in the shade Confident. So this is a blue tone lipstick versus a... I think this one also from NARS. I think it's a cool tone, yeah. That one's a cool tone as well. I think it's more cool tone. You see, you see the difference? Um, versus one. I had one before. This one. This is the NYX Liquid Suede in Kitten, Kitten Heels. You can straight up tell the difference. It's right there. This one has a more orange tint, so it makes your teeth yellow. I'm not going to apply lipstick right now because I know I'm going to be eating in a bit. But that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you guys are wondering how Drill Team is, I really do enjoy it. And if you are considering in trying out, I highly recommend trying out because it's, it's nice, you know. But you know, again... It's not everyone's cup of tea, so you just have to try it 
and see if you like it and if you know if you don't like it it's okay you know there's other things so i hope you guys enjoy this video and please make sure to subscribe to my channel until next time bye <laughs>